Hello, this video is about how to replace the axle on your boat. And for this particular boat, I have a dual axle system. And um, these axles, uh, this particular one has um, brakes on it, hydraulic brakes. Um, the braking system is a hydraulic surge brake. So basically when the vehicle slows down, it pushes on this and then applies uh, the brakes. And these have uh, tubing, which have the, uh, the oil in there. Um, and these tubes go to each one of these, these brakes here. But anyhow, I already took, took the, uh, took most of it apart, but need to order some parts now so I did order the axle the axle is gonna have what is called a v-bend right there and that's to make sure that the hull doesn't uh, slam into it um, and also I had to measure from uh, one hub to the next and it came out to 85 and a half inches on the face of the hubs uh, left to right so that's the size axle I purchased um, another way, uh, another measurement that most of the time you need to do, but not in my case, is you need to measure from spring to spring, the middle of each spring, to get a spring distance measurement so that, so that when an axle comes, it'll have this welded onto it. But the one I'm buying will not have that welded on. It'll actually be floating and I'll apply the uh, it'll be secured with the uh, the uh, U-clamps. So, I will continue this video next week when the axle, axle arrives. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and remove the rest of the brakes. But, by the way, if you can look, uh, when my bearings uh, melted, uh, they ground into the spindle. That's the reason why I'm switching out the axle. The spindle's okay. ruined. Getting ready to do replace the um, boat axle this morning. I'm also going to repack the bearings and uh, for my drum brakes. And also, these are hydraulic drum brakes, so I'll have to um, cut the line. And then I've got some new new. Um, brake line there in a kit. I've got brand new um, bearings I bought from e-trailer and I've got this axle that I bought from boattrailerparts.com. Um, I actually get a lot of stuff from e-trailer. They're super simple and they got lots of videos uh, to watch, so tutorials and whatnot. Um, right here I still have the hydraulic brake lines attached so I'm gonna go ahead and cut those and then uh, uh, and then twist it over so it doesn't leak and then I'm going to try to take the nuts off of the um, u-joints if that doesn't work then I'm gonna have to cut them so I'm gonna get started with that and then then I'm gonna align the get the axle on, align it properly, get them secured with U-bolts, U and, um, and then redo the, uh, the brakes. All right, okay, right here, I removed the brake lines to the brakes, and I've got a old gasoline can. I'm using that to catch the rest of the old brake fluid because it's going to be running down um, down that line so I'm going to catch the, all that old fluid in there and um, eventually um, when I put the new brake fluid it's going to flow downward initially but um, all right using my cutoff wheel with my angle grinder takes very short work of this so cut them off. I tried using the breaker bar, but <laughs> that would have taken forever. Okay, now that I've got the axle 
axle on. I'm going to center it properly. And, and then I'm gonna get the U-clamps uh, on. Now that the axle has been secured with the U-clamps, both sides, I'm gonna start working on putting my brakes back on. So I'm gonna get that put back on properly. And then both left and right. And then, um, then I'm gonna work on the drums. The drums, I'm gonna have to replace the bearings, repack and replace the bearings and the races and whatnot. Well, after I was putting this together, I realized that the brake cylinder is bad. So it was, it's, the rubber's got a hole in it. Brake fluid was getting all over the place. So um, I ordered a brand new one on Amazon. It's coming in the mail. So I'm gonna get back to this. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and pack the bearings on the drum and um, do that work. Now, I might, I'm thinking about putting a um, hydraulic brakes on my flatbed trailer. So I'm probably gonna just repair this one later uh, and save it. I'm using marine grease. So it's, well, this grease is green, but I'm also using a tool to pack the bearings and that kind of, uh, there's a zerk fitting right on top of there. There's my grease gun and um, I'm pumping grease into the bearings before I put them. Okay, so now I'm going to put, put the brakes back on and basically right there I had to order some new brakes because the ones that I had, the brake cylinder, the rubber part was uh, broken. And I could probably just buy some new brake cylinders, but for the cost of them to get the whole unit, uh, this unit was $133 for the left and right. So that's pretty cheap. So I decided to buy the whole unit instead of just buying the brake cylinders which was about 70 79 dollars so anyway i'm gonna be putting these on um i'm gonna be redoing the brake lines as well i've got this kit that i purchased on amazon and basically i'm gonna reuse that brake line right there but I've got to flare the ends of these and then screw that in there. And I'm probably just going to go ahead and do that now so I don't have to get under there and do it later. Um, or just put this one short piece on and then there's going to be a longer piece on the other end. So uh, I've got all the bolts here. Came with the package. I'm going to get that put on now. Okay, these brakes come in left and right, so make sure you get them. Uh, left hand side is driver's side, and right hand side is passenger side. So this one is right hand side, and the front of the trailer is right over there. All right, I decided to buy some new drums. They just came in the mail, and luckily, the races are already pre-installed in them. So all I need to do is grease, I've already greased the bearings, I'm going to pop them in and then put the seal on and then um, get them installed on the brakes. Okay, so basically these are already greased, these bearings, but just for demonstration purposes, this is the inner bearing, it's going to go like that. And then I'm going to use this tool to put the seal on. And then I'm going to turn it over and then use the outer bearing. Okay, now that I've got that in, I'm going to flip it over and do the outer bearing. Now, the outer bearing is 
going to be put on um, the smaller bearing. I'm going to pop that in and then I'm going to put it on and then uh, there's there's no seal so it's uh, when I put it on I'm going to have to put it on to the, um, the spindle and then tighten it with the, uh, with the, uh, the, the nut. I don't know what they call that. That's, that's a big nut. It's going to screw onto the spindle. Okay, now is the time I'm going to get the, the drum onto the spindle. Now, I'm going to get this put on. I've already put, there we go. on and then get the nut on okay that looks like it it's it, but I'm going to tighten it even further, make sure it's on there right, and then I'm going to back it off a little bit. So I'm going to tighten it till it's tight, and then back it off like uh, maybe a quarter of a turn. But like that. It seems like it's tight right now, but I'm not sure. I'm going to tighten it just a little bit more, maybe, maybe push that, um, that seal back there, make sure it's on there right okay so now i got it tight won't go any further now i'm going to back it off a bit i'm going to get this on okay i've got this fitting to secure the nut um, I think I need to back off the brake pads a little bit in the back. There's a, an adjustment. I'll do that a little later. Um, yeah, that should be it. And at this point, I'm going to put, I'm going to grease it until I see grease coming out. So there's a Zerk fitting right there. I'm going to get my grease okay. gun and grease it. Now that I'm pumping, now I'm seeing grease come out. And that's it. Okay, now I'll take the cap on. Okay, that one's done. Now to work on the other side. Do the hydraulic lines now. I think I'm going to take the old hose and take it off from there and then just run it straight across to the splitter right there and then run a hose all the way to the other one down there. Change my mind, I'm going to keep that one. So basically I just 
tapped in right there. Now I'm gonna run, make a new line to go all the way to that break. Gotta use one of these cutting tools to basically tighten and then twist, tighten and twist until it makes a clean up. I'm gonna let gravity do the bleeding. So I'm gonna pour my brake fluid in there. And, um, and then I've got my valves open. It's been raining, so I covered my boat. But there's the, the brake lines. To recap, because the video wasn't very good, um, took a crowbar and I pumped that in and out. Basically, it opened up the valve and pushed the oil down. Um, of course, gravity helped it because it's going downhill. And um, then it started pouring out the end there. Um, on both sides, so and then I put the, the plug back in and tightened it, and that should be that. Now I'm going to put the wheels on in the morning. I'm not going to do it tonight, I'm just going to check to see if there's any, just double check to see if there's any leaks. I don't think there are, but I'm just going to leave it out, the cardboard out and see if there's any um, any leaks I see. Okay, now what you can do is you can use a large screwdriver and then you can use that to pump it. And right now I got it under pressure because it did bleed through. And now I'm gonna check to see if there's any, any leaks. cardboard under there so no it does not appear to be leaking I think we're good to go time to put the tires back on here we go that's it thanks for watching